Pinch it as garage. Pinch it as garage. I said I pinch it as garage. He's helping everyone. Pinch it as garage. It's season seven. Pinch it as garage. He's helping everyone. Mark and Mark's Mark Four. Uh, uh, uh. Pinch it as garage. Helping everyone. Mexican Korean pop star Mark. Mark Mark Four. Yeah. Hey everyone, and on today we're back with Mark and his Mark IV. Uh, you guys can see right here. Here is the radiator and clutch that we are actually installing right now. Mark is working on the uh, flywheel currently. We just removed the old flywheel and clutch. Uh, there's Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. <laughs> and now he's working on the flywheel. All we're doing right now is just snugging up the flywheel bolts. We're not torquing them down yet. He has to get them all the way down till they're snug. And then we'll uh, torque them to spec. I'm over here working on his radiator for him. We got rid of the uh, radiator and condenser. We just got to swap over the old bushings and put the radiator back in. We're going to have no condenser. He's not caring for the AC, which... I recommend it <laughs> so just want to give you guys finally an update I mean Mark finally got the funds here and we got it all taken go uh, going on it so that's exciting um, so once we get the transmission and everything put back in and the radiator all back in uh, we're gonna button it back up and then we're gonna replace all these uh, coolant hoses that we have here so you can see here this has to be replaced this guy um, I'm hoping that these lines are actually in good condition, which feel like they are. So maybe just a really good cleaning and we should be good. We did order replacement hoses just to be safe, but if we don't need them, we're not going to use them. Um, I see some, looks like we're going to need a re replacement gasket over here. Probably a valve cover gasket, some spark plugs. Um, <clears throat> uh, and anything else that looks kind of iffy as we clean it so we'll give you guys an update in a little bit and see how he's doing all right mark all right so i got mark now doing the uh flywheel here so we already talked everything down to 44 foot pounds now he has to do the quarter turn on it so the way that we do it is that we mark them and then hold on drop it down just a little bit more and you're done okay we mark them straight uh pointing straight up we lock the flywheel and then we go to town all right there stop stop yep next one all right um this one and we do them in a star pattern just for just for comfort not required but it's not stated in the bentley manual that's required to do in a star pattern but we still do it anyways And the way that we lock the flywheel is that we use another breaker bar, uh, a 19 millimeter socket, 12 point, and use that to hit the ground or on a wheel. Hold on, Mark, before I... Just like that. And you'll see some of the extension over there. That pretty much locks it in place. Barely turn that thing, man. <laughs> yeah, this is the sucky part of doing this job. That was mine. So Mark is now doing the final part. Uh, we had to uh, use some uh, carburetor cleaner or part cleaner. To make sure that the surface is now grease free because he put his grubby hands all over the flywheel and you can't have can't have any uh contaminants on the flywheel so again we torque down the the fly uh, the bolts of the flywheel at 44 foot pounds and then a quarter turn and that's it the next step is the pressure uh, the, the the clutch and then the pressure plate and the bolts that go around the pressure plate are at 15 
foot pounds. There you go. Good job. He remembers. So here's the clutch. And down there, Mark has cleaned up the pressure plate. Uh, we always have to clean the surface of the pressure plate because when they pack these, they so they cover the surface area with a pretty much with something to a lubricant to prevent it from rusting during shipment and during you know storage. So just remember that on the pressure on the clutch material says right here flywheel side. So that's what's going to be facing the flywheel. Uh, there's an alignment tool that they provide you with right there. That tool is needed so you can hold this in place and put the pressure plate on top and then you line up the pressure plate with the little pins on the flywheel and then you uh, put your bolts on and then torque everything down to spec pretty straightforward get to work mark okay can i hold that or no no uh, clean your hands with that as best you can I feel like when we uh, when once we get this uh, clutch going, your car running, we're gonna have to replace this clutch uh, probably <laughs> again. Because <laughs> this is your first time. It's gonna be your second time driving a stick car, and I feel like you're gonna you're not gonna break this in really quick. <laughs> you're you're probably gonna burn it out more than break it in. So All right. it's fine. You have a lifetime warranty on it, so we can replace it whenever we need to. All right. Uh, so. The way this works, this goes on like this. Okay. Does it stay on there? Or it... No, I won't stay all fall. That's what you need the tool for. Okay. I'm popping that tool in there. Okay. It should slide all the way in. Uh... Hold on. And there you go, okay. see? Now it stays there. Now the pressure plate goes on top of that. Okay. Now you'll see that the pressure plate has these little these little weird knobs you got to find the ones that line up with these right here see there's one there's two three, three. Okay. yeah so you gotta line those up All right. so after a good half an hour 40 minutes of fighting finally got the transmission on mark is putting the lower transmission bracket on right now the one using the 316 millimeter bolts the really long ones that are completely threaded all the way through uh, those are the three that have to go on the bracket once we do that we gotta figure this situation out here. You can see the motor mount uh, bracket <laughs> is legitimately just fall, almost falling out of its place. Again, I don't know the maintenance on this car besides what my friend Stanley told me when he got it. This car probably isn't wasn't very very well taken care of at all. So Mark and I are here working, uh, getting the transmission. Once the transmission's mounted, and the engine's already on here. We're gonna fix the alignment on the engine properly uh, by putting it just on the jack, breaking loose the bolts, and then sliding the engine where it needs to go, and then bolting everything back down. Um, we're gonna get to new motor mounts, that's for sure. Uh, new motor mounts should fix that. We're probably gonna get new crush washers for the power steering line. Uh, we're gonna power wash this entire engine bay because it is filthy, beyond filthy. Um, this will help us uh, find any oil leaks, coolant leaks that will pretty much arise after we get the whole engine buttoned up. Because once you fix one thing, something else is going to break because it's just the path of least resistance is kind of how I look at it. <laughs> um, so we got to find all the weakest links and replace all the weak weakest links on this uh, 20 old car. And then once that's all taken care of, Mark's going to have a good little G ride, you know? Uh, we're going to do his headliner, so he's stoked about that. Um, trying to think what else we're going to be doing. Probably put a little stereo system in it, do a DIY on that. I mean, installing a clutch and transmission, we don't need DIYs on that. We're just trying to keep you updated on what Mark's doing. Um, I helped him install the transmission, but uh, he did the flywheel, pressure plate, clutch alignment, so he figured out how to do all that. I mounted the tranny, we got the bolts on, now he's doing the last like little... Um, little bits there um we're gonna figure out where the leak's coming up from here because you can see it's all shiny here and all dry going up this way so more likely the clamp is too loose we're gonna have to clean that off and put a new clamp on there i'll probably pull the intercooler as well and get that all drained and cleaned up um there is a decent amount of oil leaks on here i gotta find out if they're hopefully they're just coming from like 
just basic parts like the combi valve the valve cover and maybe just old hoses and stuff and the intercooler because i uh, you know turbos leak naturally so um, it's kind of a normal situation so hopefully we figure it all out um but yeah we may from what i'm looking at and what i can notice and keep an eye on is all the stuff that needs to be repaired it's just general maintenance stuff so uh, i'm pretty stoked with that very very stoked with that again here working with mark the teenager the mexican korean pop star <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give you guys a give uh, we'll give you guys an update once we uh get this all buttoned up all right guys all right mark tell the folks on the youtubes what we did uh we we fixed the engine mounts there were this one this one was uh going this is how it's supposed to look but it was uh like all the way over here okay okay mm -hmm. what else did we do today mm, we put back on the transmission but before that we put on uh the flywheel and mm -hmm. the clutch and then uh we put on this engine mount back mm -hmm. also what else what else did we do mark what did we learn today about hand threading stuff uh if you don't do it it's gonna cross thread no. no it's the smart thing to do to yeah. prevent things to cross thread okay yeah that's what it is <laughs> you always put everything in by hand before you start it with the ratchet so we don't cross thread it yeah. don't get me wrong you can always try to start it with the ratchet you might get lucky and not cross thread it but your risk is much higher you know because by hand you can only go so tight you know with a ratchet you can you can manhandle something pretty good so yeah that's pretty much what we did today you uh, installed the transmission clutch flywheel uh, got the engine pretty much mounted back in um so tomorrow mark's gonna power wash this engine bay from pretty much from the from the <laughs> the block down not from the head uh we're just gonna clean everything because we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to find any oil leaks and try to repair them as, uh, as quick as we can to prevent any oil leaks i can already count for three which are super easy there's just a quick gasket uh, but we don't know if there's any other ones that we're gonna have to find all right, man everybody. Thank you for uh, watching Mark's mark Four uh, build There's mark the Mexican Korean pop star <laughs> Do your swish? There you go <laughs> And I'm Al uh, Pinchy Al from Pinchy Al's garage obviously <laughs> Dumb um, uh, We'll be back again to show you guys what to do next uh, or what Mark's gonna do next with his car so, peace out, and as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat.